monitoring fuel or blue duck is a great way of measuring how effective pest control can be. Dock staff in Aportiki have gone to all kinds of lengths to make sure that their fuel count is on the rise. Let's meet Andrew Glazer and his four-legged friend Neo and go on a different kind of duck hunt. Theo, they are an indicator of the health of our rivers and uh, this is one of the key things that um, it provides us uh, an understanding of how healthy our systems are and certainly a healthy population of fear means you've got a healthy river system. We'd found in areas where we had no predator control we were pretty much losing all productivity from our nesting fear and that's through stoats and uh, the video footage um, shows that literally the smoking gun of what's killing them off. We've lost five out of five nests this season. By comparison where we've had uh, intensive predator control here in the Twaiti we've seen some real positive results. We started out here in 1990 with six pair of fuel, and now we're up to 26 pair. And this year we had 30 juveniles fleet. So yep. it's simple, it's just kill the stoats and you get productivity. Extremely strong wings. They are incredibly strong. The uh, unique adaptation of the bill is this fleshy membrane on the end there. It's exactly like that piece of skin between your thumb and forefinger. Exact same thickness and uh, same texture and everything. And what does he use that fleshy kind of bit on his bill for? That's what they use to actually feel and feed around um, the rocks with and that constant rubbing on the rocks would wear. So the Fio have developed this unique adaptation of this fleshy membrane on the end of their bill. Alright, so just pop them in. Yeah, just pop them in there. And he's in. And he's in. Quarter would be proud of you, boy. We're wanting to include the two hoi people who recognise this as their uh, whenua we want to work in partnership with and we're developing ways of doing that and today's a good example of getting the rangatahi involved in uh, conservation and seeing it firsthand and seeing what we're doing. How cool is it for you to see the field up close like we did today? It's, it's my first so I already liked it because we'll always see it walking along and see them but not this close. You look at their big webbed feet and you feel them, feel how warm they are. And there's something special about them is that they've got these this unique adaptation. They're called fold away feet. No other duck has them. You watch when they push it forward, it closes up, and then when it pushes back, it opens up. That's so they can be streamlined in the water. So when they go forward, it's got no water resistance. It's only got that big toe, and then when they push it back, it opens up. The other unique thing is they've got this really streamlined shaped head. So the water just runs right off it. He has a unique microchip put in the back of his neck so we can permanently identify him regardless of whether he loses his bands or not. Oh, there we are. Okay, so that's his number. Probably. <laughs> Over 10 years ago, Doc created the Te Uruwera mainland island as a response to huge numbers of stoats, cats, rats and other bush baddies that were threatening to destroy the native wildlife. And with Fio found here in greater numbers than ever before, the results speak for themselves. One, two, three. 